barbershop owner Christopher Hoof believes that we learn to appreciate different cultures through food. So of course his spot boasts Belgian Hofbrau inspiration, French fare and down home southern cooking. In Oakland it's on Broadway and it's called Luca's Tap Room and Lounge. I love the restaurant business. Uh, I practiced law for five years but this is way more fun. My name is Rick Mitchell. I'm the owner of Lucas Tap Room and Lounge. I'm also the executive chef. The name of the restaurant is Lucas. It's actually named after my former dog, Luca. She loves steak and we loved her, and so we named the restaurant after her. We're a restaurant, we're a bar, we're a nightclub. You know, we have many TVs that we show sports on. Plus, I feel like it's a, a good reflection of this community here in Oakland. The modern concept of the menu is that it's what we call Oakland Creole, which means that our menu has dishes that are reflective of the cultures of the people who actually come here and who live in this neighborhood. In the kitchen, I've got our chef de cuisine, Wilson Mendez. He's been with us since the day we opened. Reed Combella, who's our front of house manager. He does a great job. We have 16 taps. By and large, our focus is on mild beers. We do sell you know, quite a few wines by the glass as well as by the bottle. We offer half-off bottles every Sunday. I want people, when they come to Luca's, to feel comfortable. And I want this to be the kind of place where you would come and sit at the bar, and when you leave, you know the person you sat next to, even if you didn't know him when you came in. You're coming and drinking with everybody else who's here. Now, Chris, this has a, a very eclectic menu. You've got everything yes. from schnitzel to mac and cheese, Definitely. right? To yeah. mm -hmm. What's your favorite? I'm big on the winter uh, pot pie. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a combination of uh, good vegetables, uh, fresh uh, kale inside, uh, potatoes are nice and moist on the inside there. And then right on the top of it, it's nice and crusty and brown on the edge, topped with a little cheddar cheese and a little provolone. On the side, uh, some very nice crispy string beans. Uh, are you a vegetarian? Yes, I am. You are? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I have over 20 years now, so uh, mm -hmm. I really enjoy that. So when I go there, that's typically the dish I'll try, but I, I do try try other things on the menu, the kale. I mean, it's boring when you hear kale. It's like, oh, oh no, I kale. love kale. Yeah, kale. I'm yeah. sure, you know, but, but it's really great. crispy, topped with a little garlic. Mm -hmm. and it really comes out nice with kale, cooked with perfection. I absolutely love it. All right, and George, when you went? Well, I, I want to say one thing, though, about when I first opened the door to Lucas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The only way I could describe it is like a tsunami of noise. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was a Golden State Warriors. Bar in a tap room. Uh -huh. Right, right. It's a bar in a tap room. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's not a uh -huh. funeral parlor. Right, I know. The sound. Yeah. was just unbelievable. Both of us, we just mm -hmm. went back like that. Mm -hmm. Where they sat us was off to the side mm -hmm. of the bar, so it was a little bit quieter there. We could okay. actually hear what the mm -hmm. server was asking us mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. okay. um, the service was very friendly, mm -hmm. extremely attentive, extremely informative. Uh, one of the things that we had was the winter pot pie. Really? It turned out wow. to be very good. Yeah. I found it a little oversauced, mm. a little salty. Okay. I also had the winter pot pie, wow. and that wow. was <laughs> best in show um, wow, out of the funny. things that we tried. I went with a couple of friends, Congratulations. and we tried a smattering. Mm -hmm. um, I also loved the mac and cheese balls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. How yeah. can you go wrong? Right. They were piping hot. You're Have you so ever had a ball. mac and oh, yeah. cheese ball that wasn't yeah. hot and uh, it's not good? Yeah. These were piping hot. You're so on the ball with that. Crispy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they had this dipping sauce with right. a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. I would go there for that dish wow. Wow. any day of the week. That's good. The steak was great. Uh, we ordered it medium rare. It was medium rare. Mm -hmm. The potatoes that came with it, not so flavorful. Mm -hmm. We probably would have preferred uh, just french fries. Mm -hmm. But we also tried the schnitzel, Schnitzel, mm -hmm. which came out piping hot. Yes. Everything was very hot, piping yes. hot when yes. it arrived mm -hmm. at the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The schnitzel very crispy on the outside. Uh, meat was maybe a little bit on the dry side. Mm -hmm. The schnitzel came with schnitzel. Mm, nice. Uh, schnitzel which, and spetzel. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Spetzel. I do love spetzel. Maybe a little bit salty, mm -hmm. but the texture was great. The two went together really okay. nicely. When did you go? We went on a Sunday. On Sunday, okay. Which I will say was really a nice treat. They had half bottle, uh, half price right. bottles of wine on Absolutely. Sunday night, which yes. was mm -hmm. a nice bonus. Absolutely. It's a great deal. It's obviously a, a place to eat, but right. you're going there to also drink and enjoy the atmosphere Absolutely. and play pool and mm -hmm. do other things, right? You can do a lot of different things, and that's why the value is so great. I mean, you can shoot pool, you can watch the game, you can play pinball, you can yeah. dance if you want. There's a nightly DJ about five days a week. It is a, a loud place, so you kind of can an anticipate that up 
upbeat atmosphere, yeah. but at the same time, you can enjoy your food and, and meet some really good people there. It's not a romantic dinner. No, you it's wouldn't want to go no. and get on your knees yeah. or anything like that. Right. But if you're with some right. friends, you're out and you want to have a good time, maybe if you're at one of the local theaters, the Fox or the Paramount, you want to go in for a drink before our show, this is a good place to go to. It's right around the corner, and you can actually just walk to the Fox, which I've done before. What so, else do you, besides the Popeye, uh, what are some other I typically will go into the, uh, the catfish. Uh, they, they serve catfish over, once again, kale, nice crispy catfish, good seasoning on it, and something that you can just dip, you know, with the sauce that they serve, eat it with the kale. I mean, it's a really good combination right there. So mm -hmm. that's another one of my favorites. And then, of course, the mac and cheese. Yeah, They're big that. on that. Did you I try that, George? Yes, it was that. really, really good. And, and it was those, four different mm -hmm. cheeses all competing for, for dominance. You're absolutely right. And nobody yeah. won. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It was just Real balance, it was right? Yeah. Had a good yeah. balance to it. Inside, nice yep. and creamy and nice, cheesy. On the outside, top. crusty top. And the mussels? The mussels were perfect, actually. Uh, the sauce was not cloying. Mm -hmm. It was very tasty. All the flavors came through. Mm -hmm. It was perfect. Good. And it was extremely generous. Big bowl of mussels. Uh, that's yeah. nice. So and you good. can have brunch there, too. You absolutely yeah, can. And I've, I've done that quite a few times. After church, I'll stop by, sit in, and, and uh, have a nice brunch. It's always a quiet atmosphere around that time. Uh, I love the eggs with the salmon that they serve. Uh, it's a good combination once again. Uh, so anytime, if you're in that area for brunch, they're there and ready for you. And there's a sriracha Bloody Mary. Isn't that? Absolutely. The there's drinks are very strong. There. Yeah, and one of my favorites is the, I'm a big Clint Eastwood fan, mm -hmm. so they have the High Plains Drifter, uh, so that's one of my favorites. Really good and very strong. Make my day. Yeah, exactly. There you, there you go. There you go. On the non-alcoholic side, though, with the drinks, mm -hmm. they had, we had got two of them, a Bundaberg ginger beer. Oh, okay. Which nice. was just mm. the best ginger beer I've ever had. Wow. And a, a pomegranate lemonade. Wow! Nice. And, and it was just this is how creative this place is. Not mm -hmm. just the tap room. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. do they do an awful lot of things. Yeah. They, they, you know, when somebody comes up to the table mm -hmm. and tells you that the the churros have a pedigree, <laughs> the person making the churros is from Guatemala. You've got wow. to try these uh -huh. hot, mm -hmm. small, dense cinnamon flavor mm -hmm. with this side of like semi sweet chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just fabulous. Did anybody else have the churros? I haven't tried it. I'm gonna oh try my God! See, yeah, got introduced now. Sure, Look at yeah, that. Yeah. All right, this is your restaurant. Wrap it up for us, Chris. Um, diversity, excellent food, and with an excellent value. I mean, I think it defines what Oakland is. All right, and Donna, if I were going to a show at the Fox or Paramount, definitely would go back. Um, great value, large portions, and piping hot. All right, and George. Not a romantic, quiet restaurant. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. It's a tap room. Mm -hmm. It definitely is that. Mm -hmm. uh, good value, very creative restaurant. Highly recommend it. All right. If good. you would like to try Luca's Tap Room and Lounge, it's on Broadway at West Grand in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-451-4677. It's open every night for dinner with lunch Monday through Friday and brunch on Sunday. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $30.